Hi, my name is Larry Jordan and welcome to this tutorial on Sonic Fire Pro 5. Recently, Smart Sound added a new feature to their music, vocals, and in this tutorial we'll be scoring a video using the new Smart Sound music with lyrics to help create an emotional connection between the video images and the music. As an aside, when we came up with the idea for this tutorial, we went to see the Artbeats website at www.artbeats.com. I contacted their search department, who did a free search of their database, and emailed me a collection of preview clips that met my criteria. After going through the checkout process, downloaded them for this tutorial. The whole process was fast and simple. Here's the video. I call it Love Through the Ages. It starts with a couple in love, and then reflects back on them as they were kids growing up, and then projects into their future as they age together. The problem is we have this nice video montage, but it doesn't have any sound. The whole piece runs about 45 seconds, so it's a non-standard time. We need to create something which is specific to the duration of this piece. Well, that's where the new vocal music from Smart Sound comes in. Smart Sound calls it their Voxation series. First, you need to keep in mind that everything we can do with instrumental music, we can do with vocals. It's just that now we can add the power of words to our projects. What I want to do is to score the entire piece, but only add vocals to a portion of it. We'll press the return key to rewind our video back to the beginning. And whenever we want to add music, we go up to the window Express Track, and that opens the Express Track window. If we want to find music that has lyrics, we can go to the search box in the top left corner and search for the word lyrics, and those songs that have lyrics are displayed in our search window at the bottom. If you'd rather not type, you can go to the Keyword section and scroll down until you find the word Song highlight the word song and all the different clips that have songs are displayed in our browser window here at the bottom. Right now the number of pieces of music that have vocals is limited, but Smart Sound is releasing new music clips on a regular basis which will expand their Voxation series. Notice this one's got a blue icon and this one's got a gray icon. The blue means it's installed on my system. The gray means it's available through the Smart Sound Store. And whether it's installed on your system or in the Smart Sound Store, you can preview it. We'll just click on the clip and click the preview button. My angel. Steep is an indie rock band that, that's got sort of a contemporary feel. And Brady Harris, click the play button. You and I. Let's try another one and click on bottom of the bottle. Downloads the preview and plays it. Bottom of the bottle, on a Friday. After listening to a variety of clips, the one that I want to work with, one that I like, is called Like This. It's by Steep. And if I pull the window out, notice that when you click the play button, the video rolls in sync so you can see the picture and, and hear it matched against the song. Well, this is okay, but I want the music to start a little bit stronger and, and not spend quite so much time building, so I'll select a different variation. I'm going to select Feel It, and now when we play it, my second thought was like the first one I knew you'll never Okay, I think uh, we'll work with that. But what's he actually singing? What are the lyrics? Well, one of the nice things is when you go to the info panel up here in the top right corner, you can see the name of the album, the title of the song, the tempo, which is really useful if you're trying to cut to the beat of the music the style of music, but in the description category it lists the lyrics the way they were first performed. Now when Sonic Fire takes your music and creates the link that you want, it sort of mixes and matches the clips. It's like running it through a high-speed mix master that's got some brains behind it and poof you end up with a whole new combination of music. But the actual vocals that end up in your song when you set it to length will change from this this performance list because clearly the whole song we're not using, we're just using a piece of it. 
As we want to add the vocal to our title, we say insert, close the express track window, and the music has now been added to our track. Hit the return key to rewind to the beginning, the space bar to play it. My second thought was like the first one. Okay, good. Hmm. Except, what I want to do is for this first section where it's young couples in love, I want to have no vocals, just let it sustain off the music. Then I want the vocals to kick in when we go to the retro section, and then I want the vocals to really get bigger as we go to the, to the future section. Well, whenever we want to do any kind of change to the music, we're doing mood mapping. And mood mapping requires keyframes, which is not as scary as it sounds. It's actually very easy. So we put our playhead at the point of the dissolve right there and click the diamond keyframe button. And it adds a transition from clip one, which is here, to clip two. This gray triangle indicates the speed of the transition. And if I select clip number one, I'm going to drag it just a little bit shorter so it doesn't take quite so long to move from scene one to scene two. Let's go find our second dissolve here. There we go, and set a keyframe. Now as we listen to this, if I select our first clip and hit the return key and play it, My second. I want to get rid of the vocals. Because I have the, the segment selected, not the clip, but the keyframe section below it, I'll go over to lead vocals here and fade them out in our little side panel mixer in the properties window. Now when I listen to this... <laughs> no vocals! Yay us! So we'll play this a little bit further. And when we do... Let's see... I want to make a stronger point. I'm going to set the transition to zero. Now listen. Well, there's an oops. My transition occurs here, but the vocals actually start there. So I'll grab this and drag it forward. And now when I add about, oh, a half second transition or so, and play it, listen to how the vocals kick in. Very cool. And we can now move on, except it's a little heavy. These are young kids. I don't want to have the band playing at full power here. I want to have the band scaled back. So let's do some more mood mapping. Let's change this from full, which means everything playing at full volume. Let's change it to a small group. And now as we transition, we keep the background vocals out and one of the guitars is out and we pull the drums off. Let's see what it sounds like. I love how she raises her eyebrows. It's, watch it the next time it goes through. That's a girl that has her eyes on a watermelon. But I digress. Let's select this clip and drag the transition back just a little bit so it's not quite as, as lengthy. And go to the transition here. Well, that's where our next verse kicks in. So let's grab our transition and drag it over just a bit. This time I'm going to go to the full band. Notice how we've got full selected here. Kick in everything. Right now, can you feel like this? Can you really feel like this? Because oh, I can. What we've just done is we've been able to take a piece of vocal music time it to whatever length we wanted, apply it to our video, and then change the actual mix so that the vocals appear when we want them to appear and don't appear when we don't want them to appear. This ability to add the power of vocals to our project and to control exactly where those vocals occur is a very exciting new development that is well worth experimenting with for yourself. My name is Larry Jordan and thanks for watching.